Hey folks, I wanted to take a minute to talk with you guys about uh, something really important about working with digital media, frustration. Uh, frustration is, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's, it's frustrating. Frustration, frustration. Frustration is a reality in any digital media composing process. And so I wanted to give you a preview, some sort of admission about what it's like for me to get frustrated with a text that I'm working on. Well, first of all, I'm not all that fun to be around. I get grumpy, short with people. That's probably the main reason I've tried to think a lot about how I handle uh, frustration in my composing process because it, it happens a lot. Well, enough that I would remark on it. I get impatient. I want things to happen right now. I want to try a solution and know immediately, right now, whether or not it's going to be uh, the thing that fixes all of my problems or at least allows me to make a little progress. And then when it's not, I feel like I just wasted that time, like that little a little bit of precious time that I that, that seems to be running out. Come on, come on, come on. I get impatient. Come on, come on, come on. I blame the machine. Ah! I end up hating my MacBook. It needs an update. It's not running right. I forgot to install that driver. I hate my MacBook! And then, of course, there's always the, the software. It couldn't possibly be that I don't know how the software works. There's a bug in the software, right? No, it's the software's fault. Clearly, when I'm frustrated, it's the software's fault. Not me. Mm-mm. And then there's always the, the fact that when I get frustrated, when, when something's not working, plain and simple, I'm just, I'm stupid. I must not be smart enough to complete this project. I can't figure it out. I gotta tell you, I pride myself on being a smart fella, or at least being able to figure things out. And when I can't, I must be dumb. You know, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I should just give up. And I think on every project I've ever done, I've considered just, well, you know, maybe it'd be easier if I just threw in the towel. Maybe all this work and this frustration uh, isn't worth it. Sometimes I just consider giving up on, on everything. All right, maybe just on my career as a scholar. Well, okay, maybe just just this project. Well, all right, uh, I'll, I'll just give up on this particular project. But then I usually don't. I usually uh, find some reason to stick it out. I'm reminded of why I started in the first place. I'm I'm reminded of the the uh, the the important conversation that I want to take part in the the work that this text was going to do and how important that work was to uh, my students or to the discipline or to me as a as a professional. And then I, I usually don't give up on the project. You know. Maybe I'll just give up on that part of the project that I, I can't figure out. But then I remember how, how much I liked that idea that I had for the project, that little piece, that little look and feel that it was going to give the project, how easy it was going to make it to navigate, how professional it was going to make it look, how much more clear it was going to make my message. If I could just do that one thing, if I could just do this one, this one thing, this just this one problem, if I could just solve this, everything would be better. And sometimes that gives me hope. And sometimes it just makes me more frustrated because I don't yet have a solution and I don't know what to do. And this, this may last a while. Almost invariably, something remarkable happens. I start to realize that it's not the end of the world. I got options, and I, I start to settle down a little bit. I've, I've lost perspective on sort of how this fits into the project, how the project fits into my career, how my career fits into my life. It can get out of hand. <laughs> I get back to work, and I try again, to do the thing that I haven't been able to figure out. And you know what? It turns out that 
sometimes I can do it, but usually I still can't. So I, uh, I maybe ask for help on Twitter or post something to Facebook and maybe somebody tweets a suggestion or tells me to think about it a different way. And, and sometimes those things work. Sometimes I get, I get past it. And other times I just have to accept that it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This thing yeah, that I liked, that was a good idea that would have made a difference to my project, to me, something I would have felt really good about. I, I, I can't do it right now. Mm. Mm. And so I, I slink back to my text and I, I sort of hate to admit this. <sighs> I revise my project. And what I often find is that I've learned so much along the way. Yeah, towards this failure, that when I go back to try something else, my understanding of the alternative strategies of the thing I was trying to do, all those things have increased significantly. I'm smarter about the decisions I make. I, I can see lots more options. I... I'm much more likely to make a better decision. And what I often find is that I've learned so much along the way towards that earlier failure that when I go to revise, I end up making a much smarter, sometimes more beautiful, but almost always more efficient and effective rhetorical and technological choice. Now, it, it doesn't happen like that all the time, but it, it happens often enough that I figure you might want to hear about it because this week you are going to have frustrating moments as well. Even if you, you are the, the best, most skilled, readiest, most perfectest, attitudist person who's here at DMAC, even you are going to have frustrating moments. You got to learn how to deal with those. You got to experiment. You got to find your own way of dealing with them. Like I said before, frustration is just part of the process of composing with digital media. And I'm hoping that knowing what it's like for me to encounter those inevitable moments of frustration might make you feel just a little less alone or hopeless or frustrated when you encounter your own moments and that you remember that it'll pass, that you're getting smarter and eventually you'll finish your text.